Hey everybody, it's Jared Blazer with Blazing the Outdoors. Uh, we're back in North Carolina this morning. We're gonna try to get on some brown trout, rainbows, hopefully a few brooks too. But uh, this is one of those spots where if you don't get here early, you don't get a parking spot. I mean, this water is extremely pressured. It's low, it's clear. Uh, so we're gonna have to use some stealth tactics today probably. Uh, probably go down to some really light tippet. I've got 7X on right now. But uh, we're gonna see what we can do this morning. And uh, hopefully here pretty soon, it's gonna be light enough to where I can film pretty good for you. I know it's kind of hard to see right now, but uh, stick around. Hopefully we'll get some fish in the net soon. Thanks. All right, so I've been standing here watching the water for a minute. I can definitely see some fish in here moving around. Um, there's a pretty strong breeze blowing this morning. It's kind of, it'll blow for a minute and then it'll kind of die down for a minute but i'm probably gonna stick with some heavier weighted flies this morning uh it just helps keep a good drift in this stronger breeze and makes casting a little bit easier in it so we're gonna start out throwing some bigger bigger junk flies right now uh got a three three point two mil bead on and then if it looks like the fish are gonna be a little picky well then uh we'll move down to some smaller stuff but let's see what we can get into here There's one on the first cast. It did not take long at all. Oh, come on here, buddy. What we got here? Oh, it's a nice little brown trout. Pretty fish. Pretty little brown. Get him turned back here. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's see if we can get us another one here. Did not take long at all to get into some action. It's always a good sign. Oh, missed another one. All right. Seems like it did not take them too long to get pressured after I, I caught that first fish on that bigger fly. So uh, the breeze has died down quite a bit right now. So I'm going to try to throw this little size 18 egg and uh, see if I can get one to take it. one right there goes to show that when you're fishing for these pressured fish if they're not liking what you're throwing don't give up sometimes it just takes downsizing your fly a bit and throwing something that they may not see very often i'm sure people throw eggs egg flies in here quite a bit but they may not throw little little size 18 eggs Looks like a little rainbow. Yeah, I'm sure people throw throw these egg flies in here a lot, but sometimes if you just downsize, that's all it takes. Pretty little spotted rainbow. See if we can get on another one here.
Missed one right there. There we go. Oh, oh, I lost him. It's all right. It's got me tangled up here a little bit in my leader. All right, got my leader straightened back out. That fish popped off. He got my leader tangled up around the end of my rod pretty good. Now, one thing I want to note on is a lot of people, just because the water is low and clear, I mean, a lot of times you can see your fly drifting by these fish and people want to try to set the hook on them by watching your fly by watching the fish eat your fly i don't like to do that i try to get out of that habit if i can because a lot of times it will cause you to set the hook too early you'll think the fish is taking your fly and it's really it's just barely grabbed it and uh, you'll jerk the fly right out of its mouth and you'll spook that fish so even though the water's low and clear and I can see my fly and I can see the fish, I still just like to watch my cider. Uh, kinda, kinda keeps you trained to keep an eye on that cider anyways, even whenever you can't see your fly and the water's not low. Just like to keep an eye on that cider. Move up a few feet. Couldn't tell if that was a fish or a rock. There's one. Come on in here, buddy. Another pretty spotted rainbow. Well, I was going to show y'all how pretty that fish was, but uh, he decided he was done. Starting to sprinkle rain a little bit. It's all right. We need it. I'll fish in the rain. Another fish on here. He's not very big, but he's fighting like he's big. Another rainbow. Thank you, buddy.
So, so far, a little size 18 egg is coming through for me. You know, I threw in first cast, caught that brown trout. And uh, after that, I, I just wasn't getting another strike, even though I knew more fish was in here. So I decided to downsize my fly, go really small, really light. And uh, so far it's paid off. Got a few more fish in the net. That just goes to show you don't wanna, you don't wanna give up. Just because you catch a fish on one fly doesn't mean that's the fly that all the other fish want. Don't wanna give up. Don't be afraid to change flies. Don't be afraid to show them something different. A nice trout just came up to the top, ate something off top. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. That was beautiful. Wish it was my fly. Let's see if I can drift by him a time or two. All right, so that's what we're gonna go with. I don't know if you can see that. It's a size 18 zebra midge with a silver bead. Um, this water is just so low that once you do find a little deep pocket like this that's holding some fish uh you, you about just got to keep working it over with different flies until you know that you fished it out the best that you can uh if not well then you may move and try to find another you know deep pocket somewhere that's holding some fish but there may already be somebody there so the more you move around you know you might find the fish but there's no guarantee that there won't already be somebody there, especially in a place like this. So we're just going to keep working this hole over with different flies and see if we can keep picking them out here and there. And uh, then when we know that we've really fished this run out, then uh, we'll move and we'll try to find another hole somewhere. All right, so we got a really good looking area right here. I got two runs right here, one here, one here. They kind of come together right here and form this one big run. Uh, water's actually got a little bit of depth to it right here, so we're going to fish around here for a minute and see what we can get into. Well, not quite what I'm looking for, but it's signs of life. Little chub. There's one. What we got here? Oh, cool. Another brown trout. Another brown. Oh, look how dark that fish is. Really dark back on him. Good deal. Let's see if there's anything else in here.
that fish did not hesitate to make a run for that egg fly all right so we're going to work our way upstream see if we can find us another run to get into all right so we're going to make a cast or two into here real quick and uh if we don't get anything out of this little run then i believe there's a pretty good spot up ahead this is only my second time fishing this stream so i don't really know i'm just kind of exploring and fishing but uh it looks like a pretty promising spot up ahead but for now we're gonna see what we can get out of here felt good anyways i don't know what it was little guy little guy little guy all right so it looks like a pretty good little stretch of water here make a few casts and start working our way upstream oh yeah i actually see a trout right there if i can get it to eat water's pretty pretty slow moving here may actually go back to that smaller egg something a little more a little more subtle got my line tangled around my rod tip here there we go yeah might might need to go to something a little smaller a little more subtle so we'll make another drift here with this larger egg and if i don't have anything take it then uh we'll go back down to the little 18. I believe I had one grab it right there. Yep, there's one. <laughs> uh, he ran under a rock and popped me off. All right. Let's see if we can get its buddy to hit. Definitely making it harder to cast. You know what? I actually think I'm going to go to a two fly rig and I'll leave the heavier egg on the bottom and I'll put the small size 18 up top as my dropper. All right, so changed my mind last second. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the one single small size 18 egg. These fish are just spooked so easily right now. I really don't wanna do anything to just shut them completely down. So I'm just gonna try to stay small and subtle and uh, see what we can get going here. I'll just fight the wind when it picks up, It'll be all right.
it's so one second the breeze is blowing upstream and next it's blowing downstream fish can't decide if they want to eat the wind can't decide what it wants to do We're gonna let these fish right here in this spot cool off for a second. We're gonna move upstream a bit, see if there's anything else up through here. All right, so fished upstream for a little bit. Didn't see nothing, didn't catch nothing. Well, I caught one little chub. No trout though, so came back down to this little stretch here just because I know there's plenty of fish right here. I had that one on a little while ago. Uh, sorry about all the road noise. But I'm going to fish right here for a little bit longer and then maybe try to drive and find another spot. But depending on how we do here, we'll see. I believe that fish right there that I'm looking at is a brook trout. I saw orange and white on its fins. And I would like to catch it very much so this morning. I've not got a brook yet this morning. Caught rainbows, caught browns. So far the brook has eluded me. So uh, now that I know there's brook trout in here, I may change up flies for a minute here and see what I can get them to do. All right, so the last time I was here, every brook trout that I caught came on a pink squirmy so i've got one of those tied on uh we'll see what we can do with it and if they don't eat it then i don't know we'll figure something out but for now let's see how they react to this there's one ah i lost him i believe that was a brook too I believe I saw Brook colors on him. All right, so it looks like the fish have absolutely shut down. Um, not getting any more strikes. I'm not even looking at my flies. So uh, if I see another spot on the way out, I may stop. But for now, we are planning on heading back to the truck and getting out of here. Uh, like I said, my son's got a football game want to watch the Tennessee game but I want to take this time and thank everybody who has already subscribed to the channel if you're watching this and you like what you see and you've not subscribed please do so uh, drop me a like drop me a comment really helps the channel out uh, helps it to grow so uh, I appreciate you all again and uh, another thing I want to mention is you know fly fishing I know all of my videos so far have been fly fishing but that is not the only thing that I do. Uh, I do like to do a lot of other things like hunt, stuff like that. You know, I like to shoot. So, uh, especially with deer season kind of getting into full swing uh, in Tennessee, it is opening day muzzleloader right now. My buddy actually just texted me a little while ago and uh, he killed a deer, so congratulations to him. But uh, with, with deer season kind of getting into full swing and stuff, uh, you might start seeing a little bit of mix videos um, definitely going to be some more fly fishing videos it's my all-time favorite thing to do so i never stop fishing but uh don't be surprised if you see a deer hunting video you know gun reviews something like that in there but uh again i appreciate you all and thanks for watching